Welcome to me moving my bookshelves. So if you guys didn't know, I am moving in a few weeks and with that means I have to pack up all these books. Um, so I thought I would do a dedicated video of just that. I thought about this after I've already started packing, so I'm already winning at this. But I thought, you know, hey, let's do some montages of putting books in boxes and showing you how many boxes I have and unpacking and make it a just moving bookshelves vlog particularly or just a video about it, not a vlog, because this will be strictly about moving bookshelves. So, yeah, this is what we're working with. I have already cleared the very top because I did have some books up there. I've already cleared that shelf and this shelf and that shelf, a little bit of this shelf and a little bit of that shelf. So far I have packed three boxes I want to say. I think it's honestly going to take around 10 to 15. My husband thinks not because he wants to put all the books in there but they're going to be heavy so guess we'll see. <laughs> um, but yeah. I only have one box to pack right now because he's getting them from work because he's a tech guy so he has like all of our boxes are like HP desktop boxes right now and some computer parts so I can only pack up one box today. I'm going to make this short and sweet. You're probably just going to see a ton of montages so let's do this. So you're seeing this on May 3rd. This is the status of my bookshelves right now. Whoa, where have they gone? Well, one shelf is completely put right here. I actually just finished filming a what's on my TBR video because I thought, hey, I'm about to pack all of my TBR books up, so why not share with you what books are on my TBR shelf completely? You know, just looking for content for pre-filming because that's my life, so yeah. Yeah, I've done pretty good. I'm gonna this weekend We have decided to pack all of the books up because we need to take these shelves off and as you can see I'll show you if you want to see the nitty-gritty We have some holes in them from where I think things used to be or something and we're gonna have to patch up the holes of where the bookshelf is So we need to go ahead and do that. So yeah, I've just pre-filmed as much as possible there are a couple videos that I would really like to film but if I'm honest, I'm just gonna film them from my desk. I think that'll be okay. I don't think you guys will be like blasphemy or anything. So yeah, uh, it's hard to pack up, especially my filming background because that's just like my comfort zone. Like everywhere, everywhere else can be um, packed away, but you wouldn't know. But you would know if my filming one was up. So yeah, I'm gonna pack my TBR books up today and the rest this weekend. I'll update you when I do so. But I have to do mom stuff right now fun stuff um yeah in other news our house has also been like just packed away our like tables packed away it's becoming more and more empty and echoey it's kind of sad <laughs> All right, today's the day. Today's the day where I officially pack up the rest of the books. It's a lot. It's mostly this right here. Two stacks of these books will have to stay out because I'm reading them this month, but yeah. Ah, it's such bittersweet sorrow, but I'll see them soon. I'll see them soon.
And of course, in true me fashion, I just ran out of tape. So I'm gonna have to pause packing because I can't leave right now to get tape, so I'm gonna have to leave in a little bit. But <laughs> um, so I packed up, as you can probably tell, this shelf right here. These two books I'm actually giving to my friends, so that's why I'm at the move them over there. So the rest I just have to do this one shelf, this shelf, and this shelf. So I'm guessing three to four more boxes. I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to see. I need to get more tape. Tape's expensive. Packing tape is expensive. What's up with that? goes that's all the books packed up <laughs> yeah th that's rest of office stuff I access it pretty regularly so I can't pack that up quite yet these are books that I'm reading this month so I can't pack them up until like the day before which is not that big of a deal these are books this is going to my niece and nephew this is going to a friend this is going to a friend this is all decor that was on my bookshelf that I'm not in love with it so it's gonna go in Matt's shed because he's much more of a vintage guy than I am but it's really strange to see them so bare but I'm glad it's done I know a lot of you are probably like wow she put a lot in those boxes I did I wasn't planning to because I was like they're gonna be heavy but my husband's like don't even worry about it I will have it handled so I was like okay um and I can all lift them myself I move them all so if I can lift them it's fine but I know it's gonna be a bee walking them to like the truck and then the truck inside the house it's gonna it's gonna suck I'm not gonna lie to you like I that one last box I packed was very heavy books because of Harry Potter so I was like I hope I don't have to unhold that one myself but so this is gonna be end of part one of the vlog it's gonna be continuous while you're gonna see but after right now I won't be filming until I start unloading which will be in a couple weeks I know I'm packing this up pretty soon but like I said we have to take the bookshelf down to do some work to the walls as you can see there's so many holes and scuffs that we have to really you know like glaze it over and fix it up like it make it look nice so yeah that's what we're gonna do so yeah I think maybe at most I have a half a box left with all of this stuff but I feel accomplished I'm happy it took I want to say let's figure out how many boxes it took because I told my husband so I just packed these three right here that's four six I want to see it took around 10 to 12 boxes which is exactly what I thought it was gonna take very soon when I actually move. You're only vlogging me because I'm painting your bookshelves. Yeah because this whole video is about my bookshelf move. 
and it counts. In case you thought my house couldn't look any crazier, it's gonna look even more crazier after today. <sighs> Welcome to my new office slash bookcase area. This is what it looks like. As you can see right now, it is blue. Hopefully you can see it. This is a baby blue. It used to be a child's room. Now it's my office. So we're about to paint it. So thank you to the amazing Matt for painting it. Um, so I will show you the process after it's done and then we can set up the bookcases and then the real fun begins. Hello, welcome to my new office. So this is my setup. This is temporary. I don't know if I'm focused. You're very far away. <laughs> So we've had to cut in, you probably can't even tell over here, so I am losing like three very small shelves, which I didn't even store books and I stored office stuff, but the plan is eventually is to keep these bookcases on this wall and then go down completely and then there's another wall right there, which I will not be showing you because I don't want to show you anything until it's like fully finalized, which might be a lot of months from now because we have a lot of other stuff to do. I just wanted my basic setup so I could start filming. Um, as you can see, we have gray walls now. These used to be blue. If you've been on my channel for a while, my walls in my old house were yellow, so a different change, but I like the gray. I think it looks very good on the background. It looks nice and fresh. Um, what was I saying? Oh, so my plan for um, eventually is my husband's going to build me a desk that goes throughout the entirety of this wall I have right here to my right to your left, I guess, I don't know. And then I'll have shelves go up top for those office stuff. The rest of this office, I don't know yet, but either way, we're going to do a time lapse. I have a ton of boxes. This might take a long time. I might go in and out of frame. My husband might come in and out. My son might come in and out. So just let's do this. I have no clue how these books are organized. And these, and by the way, this is not going to be like my final setup. This is just going to be like a rough draft. The only shelves that will stay the same primarily are my filming background, but I'm going to play around because I have a whole room for books and like work stuff. So I'm freaking excited. So let's do this. I have no clue what's in any of these, like order wise. <laughs> let's do it. I'm fully aware this is not the best setup. So just, you know, use your imagination. I'll do like a pan in when I'm done putting them all in, but I'm just setting books wherever right now. So I get a sense of where exactly I want them. So that's what I'm doing in case you're wondering. So real time lapse begins now. Don't judge anything final until like the montage at the end comes through. break um these are my original harry potter books so this is goblet of fire i just want to show you how beat up they are i never want to get rid of them like i have taped it i have um i'm, I'm trying to cover up my last name i have written that on there can you see that it says harry potter harry potter rules <laughs> um yeah these are beat up um this is the order of the phoenix can you see like how bad these are. I'm not gonna put them on display, but I'll forever keep them because these are the first ever copies of Harry Potter ever read, so I never get rid of these. Food ride, but never got done. And time will slow us down. But I need you around. Let's just let it go.
there's a really good chance the battery's gonna die, so just so you know, in case it dies midway. And also, if you're wondering, I have to reference a photo of how I set things up because I've forgotten. That's me. Heather here. I realized that after my camera battery died, I never finished showing you my time lapse. So I've obviously shown you a lot. I did a lot more after that, but I thought, hey, here, I'm going to show you the final product. Um, it's still very messy right now. Things could change a lot, but this is what it looks like right now. So let's go ahead and show you. And here we have the final bookshelf, bookcase, whatever you want to call it, tour. I'm going to do a little, I'm working on the video right now and that's when I realized, oh, I don't, I didn't finish it. So either way, this is what it looks like right now. Like I said, there will be shelves on this wall eventually. So these are going to be dispersed a little bit, but this is what it looks like right now. I'm very happy with it. I have a separate table right over here that I will show you that I keep all of my tea bear books and my books that I received this month. So that's great that they're separate, but yeah, let's do some pans because that's what you're here for, right? Let's do it. pulling all of my books off my shelves, packing them, unpacking them, and placing them on my new shelf. So I hope you enjoyed this little bit of a different video, how it's kind of a vlog, but also very time lapsey. If you do like stuff like this, I would love to hear. Um, again, this background's gonna change a lot, but I thought I would just show you the beginning stages of it because it's always good to look back later down the road when I change things up to see how I started with at this new house. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you did, and I will see you very soon. Thank you for watching. Bye.